Okay, it's here. My works 15 amp, 18 inch bar chainsaw. Okay, I got some wood that needs cutting for wood turning. I've got a, uh, I've got a heavy steel farm boss with a 20 inch blade that does a great, great job. Unfortunately, I'm still recovering from my back surgery a couple of months ago. Uh, taking physical therapy a couple of times a week and I just don't feel comfortable lifting this saw that weighs uh, almost 20, 20 pounds with this 20 inch blade. I've got this bleeping uh, Black & Decker electric chainsaw that I've had for about 25 years. It's got a 16 inch blade. It leaks like a sieve and the chain keeps popping loose because the, it's hard to keep it, it tight enough. So I thought it'd be nice to have a nicer saw, especially after I attended a wood turning workshop at one of my clubs where we were cutting and processing wood. And one of the members who's a skilled and experienced user with a chainsaw shows up with this electric chainsaw by works that I was really impressed with. So I ordered off Amazon, thought you guys might be interested in the unboxing. And then I'll cover a few, few basic safety tips at the end. Okay, let's get this bad boy opened. I understand this model's been around several years, so it's been tried and true. So, we got us a manual. Looks like a quick start manual. And here it is. It doesn't look like it comes with oil anymore, uh, like it used to. Bar chain oil, but that's all right. I've got plenty of bar chain oil. Tells you how to use it. Here's the uh, reservoir for the ball. Uh, much, much nicer than the one on that uh, my piece of piece of crap. Uh, Black and Decker. It's also got a sight window so you can see how much you have in it. Uh, it comes with a chain cover, chain bar cover. Uh, it's got a, a little latch or a little cinch hook here for, for an extension cord. So it kind of slips in there and it keeps it from, from becoming disconnected, you know, when you connect the two. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's crank it up and see how it works. But for the end, let me de describe one other safety feature on here that seems to confuse some people, and that's the safety brake. Uh, when you're using it, it gets pulled back. Uh, if you get a kickback, it comes up and, and then immediately stops your, your saw. Another safety feature has got these uh, teeth here to engage in the wood. Uh, so you can leverage the saw a little bit, and that also tends to reduce uh, kickbacks. This has a, only 11 pounds compared to almost 20 pounds with my larger uh, steel with a 20 inch blade. This has got an 18 inch blade. Uh, it's got an automatic uh, chain tensioning that keeps it, keeps it tight uh, according to the specifications. Now in terms of power, this thing, the motor has a 15 amp motor, uh, which compares to my one and a half horsepower table saw that uses uh, 13 amps, or six and a half if you wire it by 120. Based on reviews I've seen earlier, these models used to come with a very tiny amount of uh, bar and chain oil, so I'll go ahead and buy you some at the same time. And I'm only going to put just enough in there to get me through this demonstration. Chain brake pull back. Push down on this button. Wow. 
quiet. I like that. You new chainsaw users just know that if, when you're ripping a log, you never go down through the end grain because it's just tough on the saw, especially electric. So we're going to flip this thing like this and go right down the middle. Side grain. Push the button. Gauge the safety lever. Push the button. Powered chainsaws, it's got an ergonomic handle to cut uh, vertically as well as horizontally. And it's padded to uh, reduce vibration, which is nice. Okay, quick uh, review of the features, make sure I didn't miss any. Got an 18 inch bar, which is uh, adequate for uh, good, size, good size trees. It's got an auto attention system so you don't ever have to worry about that. It doesn't allow you to over tighten the chain and it keeps it keeps it snug. I didn't find it loosening at all in, in the short operation that I had. The auto lubrication system keeps the chain well oiled. Um, chain brake stops the, the saw if you get a kickback. Uh, you can, as I mentioned, showed you can grab it from any angle. Uh, good handle. The metal spike stick in the wood gives you even more more leverage and prevents kick, kickback at the same time. Uh, it comes with a the blade, the the bar, the actual saw, and the chain cover. It does not come with any oil like you might have seen if you looked at other video, other previews or comments on on Amazon. Now, quick comparison uh, between the electric and, and the gas for those of y'all that, that never used a chainsaw before. If you used one, you probably recognize, recognize this. Uh, in terms of power, the uh, gas is going to have more power, but this got a one horsepower motor on 15 amps, like I said, more than my, my table saw, so it's, it's got a lot of power. It doesn't make as much noise, uh, which is good for uh, if you got neighbors nearby. Get good uh, vibration on the handle vibration uh, dampening. Uh, in terms of convenience, it's, it's so much more convenient just to just be able to plug in a, a chainsaw. If you're doing like me, chaining, uh, chainsawing right outside your shop, obviously if you're going out in the field it's a different story, but right outside your shop you don't have to worry about mixing oil, you don't have to worry about it. the air filter, you don't have to worry about the spark plug, you don't have to worry about the carburetor, you don't have to crank it, which is uh, significant. You don't have to worry about buying white gas because if you know if you get ethanol gas, it's uh, eventually going to destroy your chainsaw if you don't uh, drain it every every time you use it or after the you when you're not using it for a couple of months. And in any gas, you got to drain it if you're not going to use it for a couple of months. Um, in terms of safety, they're both going to uh, have. Uh, uh, kickback brakes, uh, gas as well as uh, electrics. Uh, if you're wearing chaps, uh, electric will, is my understanding, because of the torque, will actually eat through chaps. Whereas the gas, it'll it'll stop the the chain on a gas uh, chainsaw. It's got a two-year regular warranty, but it's three-year extended warranty if you register your your products. That's a good idea. Field use only if you got a generator. Uh, make sure you've got an adequate uh, chainsaw. Hope this video is good for you. I've got a link here to a playlist on uh, cutting and processing wood for wood turners that you might find find useful. Y'all stay safe and come on back here.